the first time. I don't know if you've seen it circulating around. It's called a Big Mac Taco, but I'm super excited. I've already got them pressed out here and I thought, why don't I share this? So here I am. I'm gonna flip you around and show you and tell you how to make it and then we're gonna go up to the grill and throw them on. So here we have our wraps, but what we're gonna do first is what I've already done, is I took a pack of our venison. Um, we hunt our own meat as much as we can and we love hunting deer, so I grabbed a, a pound of hamburger and then I put one packet of this onion soup mix in it and then I put it on seven just little wraps here and I pressed it down flat so it's very, very thin. As you can see, if I hold one up, very, very thin. Um, and I'm gonna throw them on the grill and I'll take you through the process with us. All right, so we've got them out here. I've already got my beans on the grill. <laughs> but I'm going to turn it down just a bit first. All right, here we go. So you put the meat side down. I guess I don't have to throw them. <laughs> And you're going to cook the meat side down first for a couple minutes, depending on how hot your grill is, until it's cooked, and then we will flip them and I'll show you that. Also, in the meantime, I made my homemade Big Mac sauce. So that's just some mayo, um, mustard, you're going to use, cut up some onion, throw it in there and then a little bit of vinegar and paprika. And then if you want to put pickles in it, you can. Um, I didn't, but that is how you make the Big Mac sauce. Or you can just Google it. I'll put one down in the description too, so you can reference to it. Um, and then that's gonna go on it when uh, we're ready for that. Okay, so I flipped one and they're already ready. And you're gonna just flip them back over. And then I have now turned the barbecue, or the grill, whatever this is, all the way down to one, just so it keeps it warm and the tortillas can cook a bit on the other side. And we will put some cheese on them. There we go. So I've got cheese on them. Not the healthiest cheese, not my favorite cheese, but what I've got in the fridge. So I just put a slice on all of them. I'm gonna close it up. Now I have the grill completely off. Just <laughs> cooking some of the green beans out of the garden for to have with mine. Um, but yeah, now you're gonna put whatever topping on it that you like for a burger. So you could put your lettuce, your Big Mac sauce, tomato, onion, whatever, or just Big Mac sauce, lettuce, pickles, whatever you want. But that is how you make them. Um, and I'll show you mine once I top it. There we go. So here they are, and now I'm going to top them with the toppings. Okay, so for my kids, <laughs> for my kids, they literally just like a cheeseburger with ketchup. So that's what they're going to have, and then I will show you ours. All right, so I'm going to top this one. I just put some pickles on it that I made the other day. If you haven't seen that YouTube video, go check it out. It's so good. And then I've got some lettuce here. I'm gonna put on, and then Big Mac sauce. Okay. And there you go. So there you go. That's exactly how you make a Big Mac taco a burger taco whatever you want to make i guess it's just basically a burger taco and then just put whatever you want on for toppings and it's pretty fun what i really liked about it after i've ate it now is that it's not very heavy obviously you could put the burger on it as thick or as thin as you want i put it pretty thin because once you fold it it gets thicker obviously but it was very good um and one actually filled me up and it was it was it was filling, but it was a light meal. So it was really good. So as always, if you've tried this before, comment what you put on yours, like, share, and please subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss a video. Bye.